What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, even though the game is done, we still have the Echoes of the Eye DLC. Uh, so, from what I understand, we need to go to the museum, and then over at the museum is uh, a thing that, that kind of gets us kicked off on the DLC, so... Built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite into this day, still houses the first ever photos taken of the entire solar system. The deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system is now responsible for generating the real time solar system map used by our newest astronauts. And I think this is it, because it's the, the new exhibit. So, I go find that guy. Considered starting a completely fresh save, but. I don't know how much this, this DLC ties into the main story. I think we still... I think it's like, I don't know if it's an add-on or if it's like... It's own thing, but... We will, uh... I mean, the save I, I have... I, you know, I don't know how much the lore I have is gonna be important, so... Figure I might as well just play it on this save. Frequency discovered deep space radio. I'm gonna figure out what is in the one photo that's not in the other. So Bramble, there's Lava Planet, there's my planet, there's the twins with the Phantom Moon, Deep and the Rocket. Seems like a weird start to the DLC though. Go to the satellite and wait for the number to get to the angle. Oh God. I may have just screwed myself up. All right, so we've stopped it. But still map offline error. Yeah, all right, let's kill this loop. I think this loop is, is gone. Well, we're facing the direction we seemingly have to go. You can outrun the sun and you get a, like, a lonely death. The idea is like, I, I break the time loop and then I just run away, like completely outrun the, the range of the supernova. And it's like, you know, you, you uh, drift off in space and, and die all alone. I want to go confirm, because looking at that black spot, I thought we didn't see Timber Hearth in that photo. So I thought that was just Timber Hearth with getting a, uh, a backlit view by the sun overlaying it. Yeah, I mean, that's just... That looks like a backlow, right? I'm not going crazy here. Whereas this one, there's like an extra object on hollow. Or that has a phantom moon. Twin planets, the rocket, those two. Yeah, it's like there's an extra phantom moon, but this one, phantom moon, the twins, that, the rocket, Bramble. That's just our planet with its moon. And it's just a, a light. I guess that light was somehow... No, but that's the angle 350. It said it wanted me to use an angle of 40. Oh, it's the big black dot. It's the big black dot. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I completely missed. I was just like, it's a planet that's blocking the sun. But there's no other planet to block the sun. I'm dumb. No, wait, 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 wait. We're seeing it. We're seeing it. What are you? What is eclipsing the sun? We're gonna preemptively get a picture, just in case this is like some... Okay, we're somewhere. This is turning into a horror game, the music got way more creepy. like a giant space station. Alright, do I look at the orb to dictate the direction? Okay. Alright, I've played this mini game before. Oh, 
All right, first priority is figuring out how to read the language. One point three gravity. So not impossible to get around, but it's going to be pretty heavy on the, uh, the juice. Dear people, will you also fit in the slot? You will. Oh, but I need a lantern as well. Okay, no I don't. Hang on. No I don't. I can do, uh... Yeah, that'll kind of work. So they're also aware of the eye. And the eye sending out a signal which reached their planet. And they saw it. And then it scanned their eyes. And they looked almost horrified, and they said, look, 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 hang on, I need to... I need to find a proper lantern, this is not... That's too much light, it's kind of hard to see. Let's, I want to solve this, but let's go try and find a proper lantern. Working lantern, let's go, alright. It's movie time. So, at the start, there's... Insect people, lantern, eye, and planet. So the eye sends out a signal, it goes past our solar system, it's this solar system. He's watching, he's looking, it does something. They're like, oh my god, holy sh holy shit guys, holy shit, you're not gonna fucking believe it! Get over here! Like, oh man, they see the signal. And then a couple images get melty. But it looks like they, it looks like this, they're building their mega space station. And then they set off to search the eye. They come to our solar system. Yeah, okay, all right, dope. And then they get to the eye and then it's back. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so that's some, some good context about these people. Alright, so, signal. What the hell, it looks like they're... They're... It's like they're imprisoning something. There's like an energy source. And there's a wheel that with light and a thingy... Oh, they're de definitely, they definitely put somebody in a jail. Look at that, they put a, a chain on it. And so by removing the light, we can open the, the jail cell. Okay. What dark power did they seal away? We like fishing. We like standing. And we like looking at our planet and canoeing. Wait a minute, this is a puzzle, I think. Three lights. Oh, never mind. Three lights. Lots of lights. For a second, I was like, maybe I need to add lanterns to the amount of lanterns in the picture, but I don't think I got enough lanterns to do that. There are three lanterns in this photo and three lights in this one. Maybe it's bases. So this one has one main source of lights. One main source of lights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sources of lights. One, two... Three, four. And then you had three as well. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would need like ten more lights and there's one over there. Maybe I'm, I'm, I might be reading into that one too much. Big patch of ghost matter. Let's go investigate. Table's covered in ghost matter. I don't know what this is for, but it seems artifact. <laughs> uh, is this like a tsunami wave? Bro, no! Oh god, that threw me off. I was mad scared. Yo! Okay. The ghost matter 
ceases to be active when it's submerged. And it is. This is like the start of the game all over again. Just completely lost. Exploring around, looking for stuff. Where we at time-wise? So that tsunami hit at like 17 minutes. Like this is the best time to, to ride this thing is... There's probably areas that we can only access right now while everything is submerged. Like that big tower that seemingly at just the right height. More lanterns. One, one. This is almost identical to the other room, huh? Because that's the one we viewed. No, it's from a different perspective. They see the star. They scan it. And they can see it in their mind. They're trying to contact it. It sends out a deep red signal. Whoa, what the hell, dude? So they tried to do something. They used their mind magic. The star lit up. Sent out a wave. Fucking vaporized my dude. And then they went darkness mode. What the hell? He said, oh my god. Darkness mode. Angry. And then they said, burn it down. We do not worship the star anymore. So, two factions. Part of them worshipped the star. Ooh. So some of them worshipped it, the other ones didn't. And they realized that doing their space magic to the eye would kill them. It was like a big revolt. And this is it. This is the, the burnt church of the eye. Alright, well the burnt church has jetpack fuel, that's nice to see. The supernova music is still here. Oh, oh. Okay. So, I guess the station itself just gets wiped out and you get that that's the new death cutscene man we uncovered a lot of stuff though so i guess the the start of every cycle those no actually hang on i might let me check i might be able to just create a marker to this and go straight there each cycle now now that i've visited it i wonder if it's something that'll be in our, our little notebook yeah okay it looks like we're on the same page <laughs> Looks like I don't get to use my ship at all here, so I might as well just speed the ship in. Seems like a good area to explore. Get here at the start. Movie time. Movie time. How I love movie time. Ain't no movie reels. Is there something I'm missing? Is there a downstairs compartment here? Alright, so we got the lantern. We ain't got no reels. Hit it with my... my, my signal scope. God damn. Every time that bridge shatters, it... I'm like, oh, Very loud. This looks like a council room. Of some sort. I guess this is just like a... Viewing area, view the star system and our seats. This whole place is probably like some kind of giant uh, solar station. I'd imagine it's directly pulling power off the, the solar waves to fuel itself. Let's see where it goes. Oh. 
Well. That was uh, very unexpected. So when I first land, if I just cut to the left, it's an elevator, I can cut to the left, presumably call down the elevator and then immediately take that thing to go up. Okay. Entrance. Oh, it's the prison. Okay. Uh, so, this was light based before. It is the prison. Uh, what happens if I doze off? Okay, never mind. I thought maybe I could, like, put a ghost marshmallow in it and turn it off. I need to figure out how to lower you. Clip the chain. Shit. It's already time. Well, we found the prisoner. So if we can figure out how to manipulate that chain, we drop that chain down, that drops it over the fire, then we can probably do the thingy the dude did to release the prisoner. I don't even know. I don't think I can get back up. I wonder if I can swim into that early on, or if that's something that only occurs after, like maybe part of it is broken away by the flood. It's cool that we discovered a, a second entrance in though, that, you know, we can jump to the front or the back of it now. Let's, uh, and even though this is a fresh loop, we're gonna, I think I still have it marked. We're gonna head straight over there and cross that bridge before it gets swept away. See what we discover over there, and then we're gonna try and do stuff with the the prisoner. See if we can't figure out how to release him. You know, one thing that's kind of uh, kind of funny to me is like we have ooh, God, hang on, we have all these uh, advanced alien ship. Like the Nomai one, you know, that one makes sense because it was just shattered, so we were able to just walk right on in. But this one, I mean, we just glue in. They just got their little graph port wide open. Yeah. Gary forgot to close the, the graph port, just letting anybody come visit the uh, the space station. It seems like a security breach, right? Damn it, Gary. We've talked about this. Can't be letting strange, lesser developed species in. You gotta stop doing this. Oh, you know what? That's definitely a thing, because if it's not rising out of the water, the fire, the magical fire won't be lit. But let's go. This, this we want to access now, because once the flood happens, I can't get over here. So let's see what is over here. Man, living on a ring world would be wild. You just look up and you see, oh god, it's like, it's so disorienting, right? I think for a, for a proper ring world, it would have to be significantly larger to where the you know, the curvature isn't just, you know, clearly visible to the naked eye. I feel like this would just get constantly disorienting. Even living in it, I think you'd, you'd, you'd be like, uh, Brain doesn't like this. Alright, we got down the path that I want. Now we ride this, and while we were looking at this trying to go uh, from behind, it looked like there's a lift that might get me up onto that mountain. Got plenty of time. Let's see what's over here first. Take me even higher. Okay, so we're like up in the village. One of these rooms. Every time I see these rooms with the lanterns, I f you know, the first time I thought it was some kind of puzzle. Now I'm just unsure about them. They're just meant to house the lanterns. And every time that happens, I feel like something, there's something that probably changes in the world or something I have to do before that occurs. Yeah, these might just be repositories for the lanterns, because it is, I mean, even the building is kind of, you know, lantern-ish in appearance. This is about the prison. But it's just like a more complete version. 
So is this the secret of the fire? No, this is the artifact thing. And then they went to sleep. Looked at it. They said, what do we do? The planet's going to die. Oh, God, look at our planet. Oh, my God. And then bad stuff happened. So they're using the artifact here. I think they're... This one. I think they're drawing from the blue flame. The only place we've seen one of those flames so far has been the prison. Oh my god. That's gonna get the door open for me. That is cool. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. I'll drop you to pick up this. Okay. So this is something with... Wait, is this this looks like the station itself? There was like a flare up. So if we're looking at the entrance, there's a port that is at the northwest. Which is defective or something. You are just a That's what I thought, but wanted to confirm confirm while not standing on top of it. I figure if I can figure out where these tubes go, I think that's going to be how I lower the thing. I think the tubes are leading me to the place that I seek. Tubes are leading me into there. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, maybe it's similar to the other puzzle. Maybe I just gotta... Gotta get it into that room somehow. And then open the door. I need to do start doing more of that. Anytime I see doors, I can't seemingly can't access. But I want to grab the artifact. So I got a feeling that the artifact could be used to like channel the fire or something. One of the the things kind of gave that vibe. All right. Uh, focus. Yeah, so it looks like we draw something in, and then we enclose it. Doesn't look like it's going to get me what I need here. Oh, we're at what, 22 minutes? Yeah, it's going to be... Oh god, oh god, oh god, alright. Oh, look at that, perfect timing. Because I'm currently being pounded. And probably going to die. Stuck underwater. Those rapids do not mess around. I can't even move, dude. Wow. Right there. Oh, wait, is this... Yo, this is the room! It's like an active artifact. I look at the flame. I get sleepy. And then I hold something and I hold the lantern in front of the flame. I think if I can figure out a way to get fire into there, I think I can make some stuff happen. By the way, the artifact can channel the blue fire. That's, that's, I mean, that's what I thought, but we went to the prison and we were unable to interact with that fire. But here, you went in with an empty artifact. Maybe, maybe the artifact can only channel it when it's in that dream realm? No, hang on, hang on. So there's... I need a true artifact. There's a cage, and then there's also this, and I need to somehow... 
when they when these two things are together, that's that's the artifact that they are using. The lantern and the artifact become the lantern fact. So a person falls asleep at the fire. They fall asleep at the fire. And then there's a bunch of stuff that happens. Take the lantern, take a nap. I think he's saying this this is the one that worked. He's saying yes, it works. I think they were going through different designs. What if the trick What if the trick is to get one of those lanterns, go in front of the green fire, rest while I'm holding it? Goes off. Yes! Okay. Okay. Uh... Alright, the prison is gone. So this is just like, it's, it's basically just a flashlight, but with magical fire. Why do I get the vibe we're in like a shadow realm? Are we absolutely in a shadow realm? Oh, what is this? Alright, so five symbols to create that. Alright. I'm guessing each of these has a separate password associated with it. We have a triple moon. Triple moon waves, double moon waves, and then single moon waves from the top. Cracked open. Wait. Hold on. Are we getting an idea of what he of what he saw when they were closed? The hell? There's something going on with the lantern rooms. Hold on. Can I can I see that again? Can you show me that same vision? One more time? It says go to the tower. So tower by the rock formation. And then when you're in the tower, he said this. This is the place. And he went for nappy time with everyone else. And he somehow snuffed out two lights. These look like they're gonna kill me. What the hell? There, there's some kind of alarm system in place so i need to reach three of these i think i need to to figure so i figure this out that creates a bridge i figure this out it pulls the boat over i figure that out it shuts off security <gasps> yep and as expected so we need to figure out these baddies Here it comes! What happens if the wave hits me while I'm on my way? Oh, we just get yeeted. But we, then we come back up. Oh. Okay, so well, that confirms my, my theory that even if you're in the right spot, there is absolutely no chance you're going to be able to ride the wave. It was one where they were, there was a planet in the background. There we go. Oh, put them all outside. All the lanterns outside. Seems like a very tedious solution. But, uh, maybe. Who knows? Hey. I swear I just looked at that and I did not see that thing. I might have just been too far back. Either way, we got what we wanted. They're all mummified. You know what? I need... Hang on. I don't know if I can find one around here. But if it's anything like the other one, 
I'll probably enter the dream, and then after entering the dream, I can probably, uh, uncover stuff. I'm trying to think. The fastest way I can think would be enter from the breach in the hull, grab the lantern, skedaddle down the current, take the ramp over, get to the tower. There's the third tower. That's the third tower. Where are we at exactly? No, that's... I think that's the second tower. I think it just collapses as the flood goes on. Wait, it shows all four on the top. One of them looks like it's built into a mountain. The underwater chamber. Okay, and the third. So it's like a thatched roof, the Sauron roof, and then one that's like built into a wall. This is the Sauron roof. Okay. There was, in fact, an artifact nearby. All right, so that's probably the earliest artifact we can get from standard entrance. Nice. Right, so it looks like maybe that's the trick for all of them. I would like to roast off. No, not a marshmallow. It does look at the wrong button. All right. So I'm guessing I got to go through three towers to get three puzzles to go down to the thing. Figure out where I want to go. Here's something growling and grumbling. I don't like that. But I mean, these lanterns keep popping off, so I'm like, you know, assuming. Oh, follow the lanterns. All the lights. Okay, that seems important. I'm not sure, but I have a I have a big feeling that like. No lights in this place means, like, you're dead. And not just, like, my lantern, but, like, actual lights. Like, these lights are... What's that? Is that a person? Is it gonna, like, kill me if it catches me or something? I hope not. That would be sad. Ooh. What the hell, bro? That's mm. jump scared me. Oh god, what the hell? Oh, god. Okay, so these things teleport you to places. The hand grabs you. I don't know, man. I have a a strong feeling that I'm not supposed to go near those things. But the only way to know sure is to find... Oh, God! What? 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 No, get off of me! They're trying to grab me! Alright, so we can go into the dark. But we must avoid the... I'm about to get jump scared by one of these dudes, ain't I? He's like right there. No! <laughs> oh, cool. You got, I'm being backlit. Okay, thanks, bro. That helps. Oh, he's kind of fast, though. Uh... No! Ow! What happens when they grab you? Oh, they blow out your candle. Okay. Well, worse things could happen. For a second, I thought it was going to bite my head off. They're like, you do not belong here. We're blowing out your fire. Go back to the start. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, my God. All right, so I have roughly 13 minutes to get in there and solve that puzzle. Wow. Rips. Rip. <laughs> this... I'm like, what is happening? What's happening? Why can't I, why can't I leave? Uh, the other tower hasn't collapsed yet, so I guess let's go there. I could also confirm that the, well, I already know what the third tower is at, because I remember seeing like, well, these lantern rooms sure are weird. Alright, so exploring two of them at once, I mean, might as well. 
I'd like to solve one puzzle before I go out into another, but, you know. Our time in the first puzzle clearly came to an end, and it's doing it again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, but I think that, that thing, it looked like I was, I was generating a raft with the light before my light got snuffed. That looks important. Can I just, like, jump my way down? Is that... This one seems like it's gonna be Resident Evil style, like this man, because those those footsteps, major uh, Mr. X vibes. Best guess is I gotta get down there, and while doing so, need to avoid Mr. Thumper. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the dude with the heavy footsteps does not want to be friends. Okay, for a second I thought I uncovered something. I was like, oh, we go through the hole. Okay, that works. Yeah, we certainly went through the hole all right. Oh. Okay. All right, so those holes seem like they just lead to... Rip. So, what have we learned? Uh, we've learned... But I died right there. I guess I drowned, or probably the rushing water killed me because I was already injured. A proper explorer. So instead... I want to try and reach the, the center of Giant's Deep, because I was thinking about it the other night laying in bed, and I'm like, man... I kind of feel bad that I didn't go there. Because, you know, I went through when we got to the very end of the game, and I was like, ah, how do I power this damn thing? What's the code? And then after the fact, learned that the code was on Giant's Deep, but I had to swim into the jellyfish. And I think I even, like, tried getting near the jellyfish and was getting zapped anyway, so I kind of want to just try it real fast. We've reached the core. Yeah, dude, I don't... Oh, man. There, there had to have been, like, some other hint, but I don't know how the hell... I would have figured out, climb into the jellyfish and ride it into the electricity. That is so out there, man. And there it is, the symbol. Yeah, so once you get too close, okay, so that's pretty hard, because the sun, you need to time that, or the sun just yoinks you on in. Cool, cool, cool. That's where all the parties were. Doesn't look like I can direct this very well. I think I just have to take it into this tunnel. Yeah, there's no way... As far as I can... Oh, hang on. Maybe if I... Oh. Alright, well... Don't, uh, don't turn off all the candles. Not seeing anything in there. Here we go, memories. Memories of a code, perhaps? Jim said, why do we always gotta do this on the night shift? The day people never wanna do any work. I'm like, well, you know how it is. Come on, let's go on, take our, take our fire nap. And then time passed during the fire nap, and then they entered the realm, and then went, all right, here, good. There it is, all right, grab that, grab that. Let's get it out of here, come on, take this body. I went downstairs with it, and I don't know where they went from there. But it didn't tell me a whole much of anything. I really don't think it's the forest. It's like, part of me is like, no, there's no way it's the forest. And the other part's like, yeah, it's definitely the forest. You definitely need to go through the creepy forest. I mean, my gamer senses are telling me, yes, you're gonna have to traverse the forest with the creepy people to get to where you want to go, because that just makes sense. But at the same time, I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that. Wait, this is just a faster way to get here. So I want to go on the overlook, hit this, and then run over here, and then go across. Okay, so that's like a speed route. It's 
now. Alright, so it looks like there might be a set amount of time that I can explore stuff before they show up. Well, I guess let's just run through the middle. Because, I, I mean, this loop's about to end. I didn't see anything that I could use to warp over. I didn't see a hand or anything. But we explored the outskirts, so let's kind of swing through the middle of things. Hang on, I got a really dumb idea I want to try. Because the fact that they keep spawning, maybe they are on a journey. They're navigating to the place. Oh yeah, this looks good. Yeah, yeah, going down the stairs. I want to hear the incredible nerd shit that just made me think about doing this. I was watching the, <laughs> the fucking uh, the Baki anime on Netflix. And there's there's this episode where they're trying to one of the guys is trying to like sneak into this like maximum security prison to find this dude that's been in prison that was dug up, and he just shadows a person. He's like walking with the the same cadence that the person is walking matching his steps and the guy turns he turns and i was like maybe, maybe that's what i gotta do hell yeah anime but the cycle's done so all right that's that's good though that's good we we know how to reach music island so i hope this place isn't like packed with these dudes just getting ready to murder me Oh god, they are gonna grab me, damn it. Uh, he, I don't know, man, he kinda had a, uh, like... I'm here to talk to you vibe, you know? <laughs> That's a shitty way to go. Yeah. Gotta be something I'm missing here. Some some trick. Maybe I just need to literally stay on dude's ass. Mm, juke, 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 juke. Get juked. Looks like we're going fast now, boys. Well, it gives me a chance to test my theory of catching up to one that's already on the path. so many there's no way it, it it has to be not in the house my guy's gonna get drafted as a running back with plays like that but maybe there's another entrance to this place so if there's another entrance then i could find a different way in let dudes die oh no nope, no nope. that was close i was ghost mad at myself uh find a different way in let dudes die and then just run around hog wild and explore whatever I want. Because when this goes through caves, it almost has a, uh, this almost has like a, a, uh, a wormhole vibe, like from when we were going through Dark Bramble. Like we can hear music, music fades, and we're in complete darkness. And now we're out. So I wonder if we're in a different zone now. Like maybe the river connects all the zones. Which that would actually make sense. Because it says something about clifftop villages. And that one area was like all clifftop villages. What was it? I think the third one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those were the black holes that I was dropping through. Let's see, tower two. Tower two falls at the 20 minute mark. So I got, I got time. I got 10 minutes to explore. Because if we can find a raft ride here, GG, it's over, son. 
So I can get down there. I think that's the raft ride. That's the thing breaking. So I got like seven minutes, which is right what OBS is at. Yeah, that's that's sound. all right. I'm I'm really thinking this is what we're supposed to do because all those screams. I think that's the dude's dying. And now the tower world is tilting. Doors open when those are extinguished. What do we have here? Do you take me down to the rafts? A hurdy gurdy. Actually, I don't know what a hurdy gurdy looks like. And I'm going that way. That has the no no bells. Dock. So I haven't done like any exploration of the third tower, but I'm assuming they're all connected. Which if that's the case, maybe I need to go like do a little bit in tower one, do a little like light up the come to tower two, light up this dock, come to tower one, open that door. And then after I do that, I go to tower three and I chill in there for the entirety of the time that's going to be the last one to fall. I don't know if Tower 3 even falls. It's a long-ass staircase. Where is this going? Weird. Alright. So we're going to wrap things up here. We will explore the third tower. See how that connects to the second tower. It's kind of like solving the puzzle backwards. But I think everything's falling into place. So stay tuned. This looks like it's the same area from second tower. It looks very similar. They used to hang out here in their own little... So these people just chilled in like a shadow world. They didn't even... They're like, ah, oh, no, real life is boring. We don't like our planet. Let's go hang out in our shadow woods. If you're indoors, like randomly open... They're just down there, like, watching a movie. Good. So there are people that are walking around. I'll need to avoid. I thought there was. Yeah, no, I see Lantern over there. There are definitely people walking around. All right. So we get that bridge. We warp back. We cross that bridge. We just cross the bridge. See what's down below. This seems significant somehow, but I don't know how to interact with these lanterns. The only thing I can think is the flood eventually extinguishes it, but I don't know if the flood ever hits this area. And there we go. Okay. So this does connect to the second zone as well. Well, we already know the flood happened, so let's, let's go see what we can do. First zone. I mean, given we haven't done it, it makes sense that everybody in the first zone is dead. Yes, yeah, so it just leads to the cave, so there's no other way. I was going to see if maybe I could, like, uh, hit one of the, the hands while I'm floating past, but I do not think that's the case. There we go. Big breath. I'm going to wait as soon as that lantern goes out. Gonna... All right, we're good. Let's go. Everybody's dead, but I am not because I entered from a higher point. Now you can't grab me, I will explore your room. You cannot stop me. Beautiful. Alright, so first things first door. Where do you lead? You just lead upstairs. A whole lot of nothing, okay? Okay, uh, 
Next guess is extinguish fires to create a path. But the big one. Can I extinguish the big one? I mean, there has to be something here. The only other... I mean, the fire is the only other thing that's dynamic in this environment. So it's probably like something I need to do with it. Because that kind of looks like the plates. Is there like a fire, like a shutoff valve? Handles aren't even relighting. Weird. Maybe I gotta get like right on top of it. What the fuck was that? Oh shit. We got a full on hidden room. Fake ass fire. I don't like how the music got all angry. Got some pro these are the gonna be the slide decks that I was trying to do probably that were all burnt out that I couldn't finish. One of them I bet has the combination. We go through the cave and then we download and we go to a new world. Yes, we're aware of that. This would have been a good slide to get before I had to figure it out. Now hang on, that one's weird. What's happening? He caused an error or something? It's like, you don't belong in World 3. What are you doing here? Okay. Alright, the eye sends out the signal. They see it. it. Scans their eyes. They catch it. And they go, oh my god, oh shit. Guys, guys, look, look, look. Oh my god, the signal. Oh shit, so the signal... The signal started... No. Is it killing stuff or are they cutting it down? It looks like they're cutting it down. The signal's coming, and they go, we need to build our station. So they were on a planet. They call everything to build this station, create that array, fly to the eye. Holy shit. So they sacrificed their planet to come and observe the eye. Basically sacrificed it. Fucking burnt. I gotta find a way to unburn that. Is this this is one of the uh, the symbols, and that's probably the passcode. I can figure out how to view the passcode. I feel like this is just a big tease. Like I can see more reels that would probably tell me what I need to know. But it's like, oh look, they're right there. You can't get them. You can't get them though, can you? They're out of reach. I was uh, I was going back and I was watching this in the video, right? He goes in the cave, and it almost looks digital, like it's a program that's loading or something. But the actual worlds themselves don't look all that different. It's, it's you know, I mean, it's a clear representation of him going in between the caves. But I remember calling this out, and so I paid some more attention to that. And I don't know what he's doing here, but he leaps off the boat in between. So... We're gonna be a dude that jumps off a boat. Imagine it's like the secret hacker entrance that gets you into the mainframe, and then we're gonna get all the... all the real shit. Alright, into the cave. We're gonna wait till it looks like the water disappears. So we are pure black. towards this. Expected everything to be a lot more uh, digital. <sighs> Let me just reset it. Let me try hopping off a different part of the, the boat. That area looked like the closest, but it did look like there were multiple areas I might be able to walk to down there. There's four distinct ways. Over here. This one doesn't look like I can get up to, so I wanna wanna go to the ways that don't look accessible to kinda cross them off the list. Alright, the flood's happening. So we are about two minutes ahead of our cycle right now. I don't have enough of a leap right now to make it to those rocks. 
Let's see, can I access this from behind? Because that would be a hell of a way to get past the uh, the bells. It's just jump straight on the island. All right, that is not happening. All right, let's go over to the tower. It's the only other one we. It's throwing me off how there's a big spotlight over there. That makes me think that's involved somehow. No, this also looks like it's just going to be a dead end. Okay, this one was like tucked away in the corner. This is the uh, the the room. This is the the spot where I found out about the glitch. Fuck is that? Oh, it's the rock. It kind of looked like a person, right? It looked like a head, and then some arms. I was like, "What the fuck are those?" Or maybe it's just supposed to be uh, the the in between just serves as a shortcut to undo the three seals. I, I think we need to undo all the seals in that world. So the one we just we get it and we open it. The other we get past the alarm bells. The alarm bells are based on sight. They see me and they activate. So either I need to remove light or I need to find a way to snuff out the vision that they have access to. And one of those is the solution to my problem, I think. What is happening, y'all? So I just got some, uh, some big knowledge. Uh... It's gonna sound a little weird if I can get up, but so, uh, anyway, end of that loop, and I was going to reset, and I was like, alright, let's just, just, just jump in the fire, and I just stood in the fire until I died, and that brought me back into the world, so instead of dozing off, I can die to get here. I'm not sure what to do with that information. Okay, so that time I died for real. That is weird. So apparently you can enter the world as a ghost. Either way, we're gonna go to the, the second area. I'm not sure how that's gonna be helpful, uh, but maybe there's, there's like, I don't know, maybe as a ghost I can go across stuff that I otherwise couldn't. In other words, there's like black holes that we saw, maybe those can only be accessed like, I couldn't figure out how to do those, the, the black holes in the the uh, the ground, but maybe if you're, like, ghost form or something, they open up. I don't know. I kind of want to test the viability, like, what happens if I'm in ghost form and the dudes find me? Can they just not snatch me? We know there's a, a Mr. X dude at Zone 2, so I think we go to Zone 2 and uh, experiment with it there. Is that, I mean, so that that final zone, the in-between, as we called it, I really think that's like, this is where you go last. This is how you, you solve the mystery, because it has access to the three different seals there, so it would make sense that I go there, I undo the seals, and then that's like, congrats, you beat the DLC. Take me to the shadow world. I also want to try concealing, because there was the whole thing about those guys can't see you as long as you're concealed, but I think we tried that. Bro, I swear to god we tried this on one of them before and it did not work. Oh, okay. So it'll work until I get to those lanterns. So don't want to get affected by that bell, because I think I'm actually like, since I'm dead, I'm pretty sure if that bell sends me back, my conscious gets yeeted out of here. So, so this one conceal will work on. Because there's no lanterns. Okay, uh, where do you go? Oh. Ah. Uh, I don't know why. I, for, for a brief second, I was like, I'm getting one of my answers. No, definitely not getting one of our answers. That's the star scope that they were using to look out towards stuff big flower that it looks like it grows and it's eating galaxies maybe like on on the boat there's a, a path to jump off secret cave entrance
but it might be the case of I need to come here from the third zone and that by coming here from the third zone during that like brief three minute window where uh, shit goes down lights get extinguished and then I can just pass right through like maybe those lights are being kept alive by dudes because I remember when when we hit the second timer I remember hearing a second set of screams so maybe those dudes are somehow implementing the torches which we're gonna be coming up on that soon so let's try my let's try my theory of uh, the ghost hole thing I remember going down this hole before that wasn't a ghost Oh, that hurt. All right. So the ghost hole did not work. <laughs> we still died. Maybe it's an elevator. I don't know. You know, it's it's a really minor thing, but I wish, I wish my ship, or I wish I had like a, like a watch. You know, it could say whatever. It could be like, oh, it's five thirty-two. Then I'd be like, oh man, when the when the watch hits. 550, I know we're dead, you know, just some way to keep track of the time would be phenomenal. On to zone one, on to zone two. Then we hop off and we wait. I really hope this works. It's such a small time window to pull this off. But I remember hearing a second wave of screams, and that's what has me holding on to this theory, is that that second wave, when they all die, Which I think that was it. If that was wave two, it means we are three minute timer started. And they are lit. Let me um let me, let me look for a spot where I might Oh fuck. Well Oh no, alright. Well that that was definitely the the second break and it did not work, so There we go. Knew there had to be something back here. Maybe this gets me to the thing that blows out the bridge. <sighs> yes, it does. Where are we at? Oh, I know where we're at. Oh, what is all the, the chains going on? Oh, God damn it! We let them out! All right, a little rope of dope. Come on, chase me. Chase me, let's go. Let's go, let's go. All right, I gotta just get to the... I just gotta get to the elevator. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going. No, no, not that way. Oh, God, oh, God, he got me! Yeah, blow it out. It's like the stage from Zone 3, Third Tower. Oh great, they're down here too, bro. What the hell? Picture? Picture? Let's go deeper. Oh, we're just going speedrun mode now. Now this looks like what I need. 20 bucks says it's already scribbled out. Of course it is. Oh, we're at the in-between. Nice. All right. Well, we're probably safe here. There was that wand. There was one of those wand-looking things. I thought by the thing. So he scans it. He watches the eye vaporize the... Okay, so in this case, the eye just vaporizes the whole universe when he scans it. And vaporizes him. And they get angry. And they burn the eye of the church. I've seen this one before. And then they start constructing a mega prison. They launch the prison at the eye to try capture it. What the fuck? They said, fuck the eye, send in the tree prison. And then they like position here 
as like watchers of it. Oh man. All right, that's some out people are not chill. Damn. They tried to capture the eye of the universe. It's wild. So a person goes inside of it. They're watching his brainwaves. He sleeps. So when he sleeps, he enters lantern mode. And that transports him in. He red lines. But he's also transported in. Alright, well we, we discovered that already. That that death will get us there too. Those go to the brain, which sends a signal to the lantern, which takes them out. Oh shit. But that guy's a corpse. If the brain is dead, the signal does not work. Okay. This is error, error. Can I, all right, dope. That's what we need. So that is how we, uh, that's how we do the other puzzle. The, uh, on Bullshit Island. So we blow out the one just coming here. The other one, we just cross the bridge when we're dead and the thing can't send us back. All right, it was definitely worth coming here. That is big knowledge. Oh God, here it comes. Damn, bro, we made that just in time. The stage definitely has some significance. Uh, maybe I like pick up an instrument or something. Kind of looks like a. I mean, this cliff, this cliff in particular. Like, why are there lights here? YOLO. Oh my god, fucking Dark Souls invisible bridge bullshit. I had a feeling I'm looking at it and I'm like, man. They wouldn't they wouldn't go Dark Souls, would they? But like it doesn't make sense otherwise. Put out Okay, well we let out the owls again. They're going up. Now we gotta go down. And not get bodied. I probably should have done this lit up first and figured out what doors are locked. Oh, fuck me, bro! Oh, he got me! Oh, man. I wonder if there's a way to, to read light it up. Because I think what we want to do... I think I want to I want to come here. I need to memorize my path. Like now now we know we can extinguish the lights. The question is where do we go? Yeah, the strategy worked in the last zone. It's not working here. Oh god, he missed me by like an inch. Oh shit, he's getting close. He got me. Uh Um which I guess, you know, let's test this. What happens if they grab me while I'm dead? Is it death death? I need to like lure him. Get fucking absolutely juked. Straight feels important. Why would he be guarding it if it's not important? Well, let's rip on the cycle anyway. I thought I had like two more minutes. So I think, I think the tree mural, that's probably where I need to get to. I was thinking back and that's the only thing in the notes about this area. It was like, there was a mural of a tree. And so this is where stuff really begins. So right here, we have three different potential directions. The first is currently locked. That way is currently locked. Okay, that does not help me at all. I think I can go to both of those from this way though. That could be it. Come down the hallway, light that path, and then we would cross, and then we take the path. Instead, if we go left, that's going to descend us to the mural. Yeah, man, this has got, it's got to be here. All signs point like, yes, this is, this is where you want to go. Look, it even looks like it's a, like it's a door. So there it is. Cut this way. We gotta cut out. 
Oh, fuck! Ugh, I think, no, damn, he got me. Alright, but we got the bridge lit. We got the bridge lit. If the lights reset and you have to do the whole thing in one go, it's gonna be a big pain in the ass. I mean, it won't be that much of a pain, because I know the route now, but still, a pain. We would have warped, and then we would have crossed here. And then we would have gone down. That would have been the door. They are definitely, they are definitely following me right now. They are absolutely following me. Uh, let's hope Invisible Bridge. Yes, Invisible Bridge, let's go! Kinda got forced into that one. I'm like, oh, there's nowhere to go on the left. There's nowhere to go on the right. <laughs> We're fucking going forward. Alright. Is that a dude just... Looks like a pair of eyes. I hope, I hope there's not one that's gonna grab me down here. No, we're at the in-between. Okay, that's what we want. More about the eye. So what can we do? We can create a simulation of our planet. And then we can enter there via the Shadow Realm. We are gonna live in our simulation. So it's just them being like, oh, our planet's gonna die. Well, let's, let's build a simulation of our world. And we'll live there forever. So I think it's suggesting the lantern. Okay. So as long as we have the lantern, the world appears real. But if we were to leave the lantern, we become a digital entity. Whoa, that's weird. Dude, that's that's so crazy. So this entire world is quite literally just a simulation. I'm not entirely sure what to do with this information. That's burned away. I have a feeling that might be the third step, though. Maybe we got to use a simulation to get across the, uh, the last thing. What are we at? 20 minutes? I don't have enough time, but I can, I can at least test this real fast. And then that way I'll be able to do it on a, a full episode. I still don't know the coats. Oh, that's so cool. You can see how it's all, like, programmed, basically. Can I see them when I'm like this? Can they see me while I'm in programmer mode? Oh, they, they absolutely can. Oh god, what is that? Have your spine adjusted by a pursuer? <laughs> oh, dude. They do not like that. Oh, you can even see the little, the little trails. The interconnectivity and everything. I wonder how much of this is like the actual real world shadow, real world digital. Real. I wonder how much of this is like actually like just their design, you know, like when they were like when they were building it. Is this just like, OK, here's the polygons. We're going to have them path here. So we, we already know we can we know we just blow out the one when I enter it. We know that if we are dead, the bells don't affect us and we know that if we drop our lantern we can enter polygon world so i have a feeling those are the three solutions i've been i've been chasing after a passcode this entire time maybe maybe i didn't need a passcode maybe that wasn't what i was trying to get but so i i passed out early i went to bed at like 10 which never happens for me and the whole night I was having fever dreams and you know we had we solved the uh we, we figured out how to get past all three bridges in this prior and so the whole night the only thing I had dreams about was the Outer Wilds DLC it was just over and over and over again it was driving me insane because you know if you've never had a fever dream consider yourself lucky but like when you are sick and you have dreams everything is just like 
just barely out of reach, you know? It's like you try to grab something, but it's, it's just too far. You just can't quite grab it. And it was like a whole dream of like me trying to, to solve the final puzzle. And then my character would just like oopsie and fall off a bridge where I like couldn't run and the people would catch me. It was just a mess. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going crazy. I need to, this needs to be over. This needs to come to an end. So yeah, we are, uh, we are absolutely wrapping this up today because if I have another night of those, I might go out of my mind. I need to, to see how this ends. No more out of wild fever dreams. So we want to enter the world via death. When we are dead, the belt does not affect us. Like even now it's kind of surreal because this was just my dream over and over and over again. But my guy was like, oh, I fell off the bridge. Uh, uh, I can't, I can't go this way, it's stuck, it's so hard, like, ah, uh, ah, ah, it makes me angry just thinking about it. Alright, we're at the in-between, let's drop off. Seal number one. Kind of crazy to think that the first time I came here, I could have just, you know, could have solved it, could have done everything. The bells don't affect me because I'm already dead. That's two. Okay. Well, does, do I manipulate you? Oh yes, okay. He's gonna like show me his story. Scanning his memories. So he woke up from the slumber while everyone else was in there. And then it looks like he turned off the thing that was containing the eye. The eye signal spread. They showed up and said, what are you doing, bro? They said, get in the prison. You're gonna stay underwater forever. seal the eye. Huh. That's me. We're showing him what I found. It's that like your planet's slowly dying. All these people have died away. You're right by the sun, and star death is coming, no matter what. Yeah, that's the Nomai. Nomai gets caught in the bramble. Sent out escape pods.
then the comet explodes. Damn, so when that comet exploded, the ghost matter just straight wiped everyone out. Then we must be a whole new... We must have come millennia after them. This adds so much to the story, oh my god. Where are you going? Bro, what? Come... What? He's like, ah... Thank you for telling me that story. Enjoy the prison, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's left me here, what the hell? It's one person. I mean, you could definitely fit two people in here. You could fit, like, a couple. It's like a five-person max capacity. to ride off into the sunset together? I mean, I kind of got vibes that, like, the DLC's done? Do I just beat the game again? Is that it? Free oh, hang on, let me follow the footsteps. of the eye. Okay, I guess we are done the DLC. If it's given us I mean title screen, that's that's a pretty pretty much like, yeah, it's the end. So I wanna go back and follow this again and see. Oh if I had gone farther there is a jellyfish here. Okay, yeah that's actually that's that's pretty obvious. So I went the wrong way. I followed the tube the other way and it popped me back out. If I had followed it this way, it would have told, told me the jellyfish insulates against electricity. Well, now we know. Yes, okay, wow, what perfect timing. We got plenty of time, we are cruising. Kind of love how clean run in this game gets once you know everything. I wonder if they're ever going to do a sequel. Or not a sequel, but like, you know, another game with the, the same idea. So I don't usually do puzzle games, but this is like a really good one. Like a really, really good one. I'm glad we did it. Pocket dimensions. Infinite possibilities. Or like Event Horizon, you know. Observe the universe. You were but a speck, infinitesimally small, in the vastness of space. A grave is slowly getting uncovered. My kind found the eye and realized that it was capable of, they were terrified. It was too difficult a truth, like a light too bright to look upon directly. Burn them. What they could not unlearn was hidden away in darkness, obfuscated and lost. They did not want to see their story end. My kind weren't always like this, we weren't always so afraid. I did what I could to set things right, yet I am still of my kind. 
and you now know what they did. I cannot promise our fear won't stay in your mind. And so a choice, are you certain you want to remember me? And here we are, and you're ready for the final step. So I still don't know what, what exactly is happening at the end there. Are we witnessing just the supernova happen from the eye? Is the eye itself exploding? I don't know. I don't feel... I feel like... I mean, he, he hopped into the music, but... I don't think... I don't know if I would consider that a new ending. It seemed very, uh... Very much the same as before. Um, either way. So the DLC, definitely a lot of fun. I'm, I'm honestly surprised just how many like red herrings I got in that DLC because I was I was absolutely stuck forever on I gotta find the codes I must find the codes and apparently the codes were were completely fucking irrelevant in the end like maybe the one I wrote down I could take that and if I punch it in it creates like a bridge that goes somewhere or something but I was so set on uh on trying to find codes that seemingly didn't matter I mean, unless the, the areas you haven't explored were like taking that one code that we figured out by going into uh, the polygon world and then we can punch that, that same code into various things and it just works. I mean, it seems a little weird that everything would use the same code, but, but maybe, maybe that is the case. Um, but yeah, man, those, those codes threw me off because... At the end of the day, everything, literally everything, happened in that, uh, the, I don't even know what to call it, the digital world, the shadow world. I was glad to be done. No more fever dreams about trying to, to solve a puzzle. Oh, man. Yeah, that felt pretty much the, uh, same as the other ending. I'm still not completely sure what exactly went down with the ending like we all just gathered to observe the eye and then there was some type of explosion um which i'm sure there's like a 30 minute youtube video explaining it that i can watch i probably will uh but i had a lot of fun solving puzzles that was fun figuring out various stuff figuring out what was you know what was important and and what wasn't um DLC was good though. DLC was really good. Definitely very, uh, very similar vibe to that of the main game. I think it fit pretty flawlessly into the main game, but I'm, I'm glad we did it separate because the DLC, I mean, that's, that's easily an entire area completely on its own. You know, like it wasn't like, you know, just a quick trip to Brito Hollow or anything like the DLC. God, what? 14, 15, 16 episodes for the DLC. That's pretty beefy about eight hours so uh definitely a, a solid extension onto the main story uh but yeah we're gonna we're gonna wrap things up here i guess it was a hell of a journey definitely i think uh i think my opinion after the base game remains the same i do think this is easily one of the most enjoyable and definitely one of the most unique experiences I've ever had in a game. It's just a, um, because you know, I play a lot of games. I play, you know, our Souls games. There's, you know, overcoming bosses, and that's that's a good feeling. And then you have your, uh, you know, your your uh, call it your level up type games. Your your stuff like your your Monster Hunters and and whatnot, where you're getting the cool gear and, and beating a monster and making that cool weapon and that's a it's a very very gratifying feeling it feels great like yeah i got my my you know, great sword finally but just kind of wandering through this game and just figuring out stuff very very different feeling but one that i think was enjoyable just in in a, a different aspect um you know, piecing together the puzzle, and uh, there were so many times where I was like, oh, this is it, I'm gonna get a big discovery, and the game's like, yeah, no, you're not. Which, I was surprised how fast in the DLC we just had, like, like, 
big, big uh, unveils, you know? Like, we went to the middle area. At first, I was like, I didn't get... Or the, the first time I went to the in-between, you know? I'm like, I didn't get anything out of here. And then slept on it. I was like, well, he jumped off the... He jumped off the thing. Or not the in-between. The first time we, we finished uh, the first tower. I'm like, oh, he jumped off the thing. So we jump off the thing, and we... We uh, visit the in-between for the first time. And I'm like, all right, this is definitely where everything goes down. And then, uh, you know, thankfully we, we kind of just uncovered the, the dying by fire. But then we ended up finding the, the puzzle for that uh, very shortly after, which was nice. And then we found the puzzle for the bell and it was just like all, all the major puzzle pieces, just like boom, boom, boom. They all fell into place and immediately punched through. But I'm, you know, there was the whole, the, uh, the cage they had imprisoned him in. The, uh, you know, that was seemingly nothing. All the different stuff was seemingly nothing. Just, just a bunch of stuff. There's so many just like, oh, you think this is important, but no, it's not. I really hope we do get a second game. I mean, focus it on this, this post credit area, exploring these, these various buildings. I don't know if that was there before. Oh, it's a tall boy. So that looked like Quantum Moon and Tall Boy. So I guess extra elements get added to the post credit uh, based on how much you did in the playthrough, how much you uncovered. But all right. Um, yeah. Very, very bittersweet ending. Kind of wish it. I am glad to be at the end, but I kind of wish there was more. Hope you all enjoyed our journey through Outer Wilds and Echo of the Eye, and I'll catch you next time.